Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Sportsman's Warehouse, Counts Marine, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and Avery Superstore. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on this first Saturday in August. Uh, one weekend away from the big FLW over on... How about six days? Six days away. Yeah, it really is six days. A week now, from yesterday. Friday. Okay. Uh, today's yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Friday's uh, day one so, of the tournament. Yep. Yeah, so this will be day two of next week at this time. But yep. uh, we're really happy uh, to have not only Joel Pogger on from the FLW Director of Communications... And, Joe, I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. Absolutely. I get to hang out and talk fishing all morning. How about that? And you get to talk to some pretty good guys right here because uh, these guys, uh, they don't have nothing to do. All they're just going to try to win $300,000 and win the Forest <laughs> Wood Cup. Other than that. Yeah, no stress. But, yeah, that's it. You know, and uh, so we got we got Brad Knight on with us now out of Lansing, Tennessee. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How is everyone? Well, we're doing great. We want to check in with you to make sure you don't have any broken bones or anything like that, and you're you're ready to fish next weekend. How about it? Yeah, everything is uh, looking good for me on the physical front. So just ready to get out and get started in the morning for practice and see if we can't drum up or another forest wood cup there in Hot Springs. Well, you know, the Hot Springs to you, Brad, uh, means a lot because uh, you won uh, there at Washita, what, three or four years ago? That's right. Uh, four years ago. Yeah, yeah. four and, years ago. Uh, now yeah. it's going to Hamilton. And, you know, I know you're loaded down with all your loose rods, and you probably have every locker you <laughs> own in your boat with uh, as Strike many, King almost stuff. Almost as uh, many as Ron Wong has. <laughs> okay? All right. Yeah, I, I definitely got everything. <laughs> but uh, how does how does Lake Hamilton set up for you, buddy? Yeah. Well, that's going to be the, the $300,000 question. Yeah, that's uh, right. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of prepared for, for everything. And this is kind of the the challenge it's, it presents you in getting your gear ready and then how you want to attack your practice. You've got to be prepared from everything from extremely shallow to out really deep, everything from power fishing to finesse fishing. So I think I rigged up. I have about 41 rods. And my rod <laughs> 41 time. rods. That's more than you, Rod. Rod's got yeah, that, that on his kitchen uh, table. So. I know. That's, uh, it's, Ron world. it's Ron's world. I'm just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in other words, uh, you're prepared for whatever they're going to throw at you. You know it's August. You know it's going to be warm. Yeah. You know Hamilton's yeah. uh, got a lot of boat traffic, a lot of docks and things like that. Uh, even though it's just 15, 20 minutes away from Washita. Uh, there's so much varied difference, as Ron has talked about throughout the show. So when you get there, it, 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 does that mean practice is more important for this event maybe than something else? Well, I think it definitely can be, but I, I think what you really want to do is make sure you're maybe a little bit prepared for anything and not necessarily locked into any one type deal. Gotcha. I, uh-huh. I really think this is going to be a, a three-day tournament where – you might do something completely different technique-wise each three days, just totally depending on weather. You have a you know a cloudy day, you might be able to get a shallow topwater deal that takes you all one day to have a big catch. Uh, sunny and slick the next day, you're out in some brush piles. Uh, the next day, you get a little bit of wind and, and blows in some bait fish, and you catch some schooling. So really, who knows? It's going to be uh, keeping an open mind and, and playing the conditions in your favor. Hey, Brad, have you had an opportunity to get on the lake here before the cutoff? I did it, Ron. And the thing is, I, I didn't pre-fish it just on the simple notion that it's a 7,500-acre lake. Right. Yeah, that's And what... we're going to have four full days to pre-fish. So yeah. wow. I'm used to going to Sam rayburn size lake, uh, Lake Okeechobee, mm-hmm. uh, Lake Champlain, just gargantuan bodies of water, and just having three days to break it down. So I didn't I didn't bother coming out pre-fishing uh I like kind of keeping an open mind and kind of finding out current conditions. And right. As long right. as I can run around and maneuver on a lake, that's all you I know, can't really worry about. You know, you're talking about being able to move around and everything. Uh, certainly you can do that on Hamilton. However, yeah, you've got to kind of dodge all of the boat traffic that's going to be there, and I'm sure you've heard about it. Does that bother <laughs> you mentally? Does that bother you any? Uh, you know, it can if you let it. It's definitely something you can uh, you can let it frustrate you, and, and you can 
let it affect you. But the thing is, the fish are used to that. That's I think what it happens yeah. pretty regular there. So, you know, you're going to have some run-ins maybe out on the water. Somebody may get too close to you or something. But that's just something you, you can't let that affect your, your thought process or, or get you out of your game. Any. So definitely becomes a mental battle for sure. What did that uh, that cup win mean to uh, to you, Brad? Gosh, you know, it's such a hard hard thing to put into words, but it, it definitely changed my life. Uh, I've often said, like, a regular season tour win is a career changer, but a championship win, such as the Cup, is a is a life changer. That's, it is. Yeah. It's been something that, uh, you know, it basically it provided a foundation for me to build my career off of. So. Now, I'm going to do uh, nothing loved any more than to win another one, be the first guy to, to uh, win two. And obviously, the money wouldn't hurt either. <laughs> yeah, and and to win and win uh, at two lakes back, you know, so close together, and, and yet so far apart. You know, we co- we certainly look forward to seeing you out there on the water, Brad. You know, you're a pretty versatile fisherman. You 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 know you can fish on top, you can fish the middle layer if you have to fish on the bottom. You can fish shallow or deep. Um, uh-huh. do, how does the lake set up for you in terms of? You know, it's not that big, but there again, it is big in terms of lots of ways to fish. Yeah. Yeah, I think that uh, the versatility factor definitely is a, is a benefit in this type of the time of the year. When you get into that August, September, I fished a lot of team tournament championships and yeah. a lot of events this yeah. time of the year in, at home in East Tennessee on a lot of different lakes. And that's one thing that, that's an advantage of the area that I'm from is there's so many different styles of lakes in a close proximity that I feel just as comfortable out drop shot and a brush pile in 25 feet of water. There you go. I do six inches of water throwing top water, flipping, spinning rod. It doesn't really matter. So, again, I think it gets back into touching on uh, changing every day with the conditions and, and you know, being feeling just as confident being able to, to mix it up and not getting locked in and, and being hard-headed. Oh, you don't yep. want to be hard headed. No, we are uh, not you. Hey, I got a question for Joe. Joe, you know, oftentimes, you know, you guys kind of look at uh, hopefully some of the past cup winners qualify each year. Um, and now we have um, Brad Knight coming back. Yeah. Um, what does that mean for the Forest Wood Cup and FLW? Uh, well, obviously, no man has ever uh, won the cup twice. And someone <laughs> yes. is going to be the first to do that. Uh, every year, it kinds to, tend, tends to be one of the big questions heading into the event is, uh, is this going to be the year? So, uh, of course, you know, Brad is a former champion, but we've also got a couple others in there as well. That's right. Uh, yeah. And they're yeah. Pretty, pretty pretty big names, John Cox, Scott yeah. Martin, and David yeah. Dudley. <laughs> so, you know, those four guys are uh, a threat to win any tournament that they're in, and one of these years is going to happen. So, uh, we're excited. This could be the year, and uh, we'll see how it all shakes out. So, Brad, now that leads us up to the question we've asked everybody else. Uh, what's it going to take to win this thing then? Oh, gosh. Uh, you know, if I was just going to have to have a gun to my head with a number, I'd probably put it at, I'm going to say, between 39 and 40 pounds. To, you uh, guys to are all together <laughs> on this. I'm amazed. Like, you've all got on the same line and talked to each other. I mean, uh, you know, that's pretty amazing. That's a, everybody's picking around 39 down to 35. There, there's, there there's is no, a yeah. three or four pound swing each way. So two big, uh, two big fish will do it. I mean, uh, so 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 yeah. t- talk about what the that first day. I mean, you've here you you've got this on your back. There's there's like he said, four of you guys have a chance to win this thing for the second time. Has that gone through your mind, or are you trying to just say, "No, this is just I'm, I'm trying to do what I can"? Does that does that sit on your? Oh mind? no, no, I'm I'm one thousand percent trying to win. That's, there you go. Nothing yeah. else matters. There yes, yeah, I, I don't care if I. I'm just straight up trying to win. That's the advantage of, of championship events, and also why the excitement level is so much more to me. Yes, is, is there's nothing else that matters. It's not a points thing. I don't have to do good at this one to qualify. Yeah, this is the the you know top of the food chain. So. Yep. Get there. Look, it doesn't matter if I get a bite. I'm going to get a ten thousand dollar paycheck by see me. Well, so Brian. there's absolutely no pressure. <laughs> it's straight up. Just let it hang out and, and just go for the gusto. Well, Brad, I think I, you're right uh, on target. Yeah, I think you are too. And yeah. I, I don't know what that'll do for Lansing, Tennessee, 
<laughs> it, it maybe it ki- it may kickstart the football team uh, from over in well, that area that you like. Is. Oh. Lansing, is it'll have one heck of a big old party whenever I get back. <laughs> well, I hope I'm invited. That's all I got to say. Well, yeah, Ron, you are. You got what, what was that? He's I a, hope he, I'm invited. Yeah, he wants to be invited. Oh, you're always invited, yeah. You know that. Yeah, <laughs> let, just let him come out of a big cake. It says FLW winner, and Ron will come out of that. Uh, but I know, Brad, uh, when you think about this, uh, you're coming in, and uh, it's, it's uh, 52 of you out there. But technically, it's it's one on one, right? It's you. That's it. Yeah, I'm not for first right now. So. <laughs> yeah. And no, and you know, Brad, I think you're you've got a great mindset there because you got to like. Quite that. frankly, yeah, nobody ever remembers who came in second. Well, that guy ever. was second. The guy who was ever. second does. The guy well, who was second does. But that's a, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Joe Q Public doesn't know. No, no, and 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 to right. to win that second, I know would. Uh, uh, would be a wonderful addition for you and Joe. When you look at that uh, and, and talk about having a guy like Brad as one of your former champions, we've talked about this before. All these guys are great communicators, and I think uh, all every champion you've got has been able to really represent the FLW, right? Absolutely, and you know Brad's been great at that. You know, even outside of the fishing game. I mean, just last week we were over at Kentucky Lake for the. Uh, Costa High School Fishing Summer Camp. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Brad Knight was there teaching seminars to these high school anglers. He was walking around, eating lunch with them, uh. and, uh, you know, just ju- jumping in on seminars that he wasn't even scheduled to be at. So uh, he's a, another great ambassador for the sport and someone that would we would be thrilled with uh, to come away with our as our Forest Wood Cup champion for 2019. Well, Brad, we wish you nothing but success, buddy. Ron Wong will I'll be there. I'll see you there, buddy. Look for him and uh, try not to let him run over you or anything <laughs> like that. And so, but uh, <laughs> go get them next weekend, and we hope uh, maybe we can talk to you after you win it, okay? That sounds great to me. Sounds good to you. All right. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Let's take a break. Brad Knight's leaving us now. Coming right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790.